Hello everybody, this is Nandita standing before you to give an explanation about white blood cells. White blood cells can also called as leukocytes or otherwise called as WBC. These white blood cells are WBC, they are again divided into two types of cells that are granulocytes and agranulocytes. These two types of cells again they are divided into three subtypes. There are granulocytes divides into monocytes, isnophils, basophils. Agranulocytes are divided into two they are lymphocytes and neutrophils. Let us come to know about these leukocytes or WBC means white blood cells. When these are comparatively large than red blood cells or RBC, there are these cells are irregular in cell and they look like amoeba. And each leukocyte has nucleus inside. In RBC, there is no nucleus, but in WBC, nucleus is present. Nucleus is present in WBC. There is in uh, compared to red blood cells in WBC, the number of WBC are very less. Means. For 1 cubic milliliter of blood, there are only 4 to 10 thousands of cells are present. In RBC, there are 4.5 to 5.5 millions of uh, cells are present in 1 cubic millimeter of blood. When it comes to WBC, there are only 4 to 10 thousands of uh, blood cells are present in 1 cubic millimeter. These white blood cells are capture and destroy the harmful diseases uh, which produce the organisms and they avoid the entry of the body. Therefore, these white blood cells can called as the scavengers of the body. In the battle of uh, leukocytes and invading germs, some of the leukocytes are also get killed. The other leukocytes removed from the germs and the dead leukocytes from the body is comes out in the form of pus. The leukocytes now act as scavengers also. Hence, this is called policemen of scavengers of the body. After this completed this, let us see about the granulocytes. These three are granulocytes and they have different types of granules in their cytoplasm. These are also called granulocytes or cytos means cells. The nucleus in these cells are irregular in shape and they have loops. Each cell has loops also. There are of three types which are called isnophil, basophil, neutrophil. Let us see first about what are the cells of isnophil. This is a type of white blood cells. This can be stained with a acid dyes and this can also called as acidiophile acidiophils the nucleus of these cells means is this is no the nucleus of these cells are has two lobes which are connected with a bridge the cytoplasm of these cells has very large in size very uh, large in size and the granules are also present. These cells attract the parasite and also reduce the allergic, allergic in reactions of the body.
the number of eosinophils increase due to the allergic conditions in the food body they also engulf the particles formed due to the antigen anti and antibody reactions and they destroy the toxins that enters into the body now let us see about the basophils this is the second type of granulocytes these cells can be stained with the basic dyes they are called basophils these cells uh, in these cells the nucleus is in uh, in the shape of it looks like as s s and the cytoplasm which is present here with a round and large few number of granules inside these cells are phagocytic in nature and they play a part of healing process comparatively to all the white blood cells these are very few in number now let us come to the neutrophils these cells can be stained with neutral dyes nucleus in these cells has 5 to 6 lobes and the cytoplasm has a large number of closely packed granules in the cell these cells search engulf bacteria they kill the bacteria inside the cytoplasm so there are called microscopic policemen of the body there are also called the first line of defense against the bacterial infection also compared to all types of cells these are present in a large number of these are present in a large number of cells now let us come to see about a granulocytes a granulocytes the name indicates they do not have any granular and matter inside the cytoplasm the name which indicates they do not have any granular or matter inside the cytoplasm the nucleus is in this cells is large there are two types of a granulocytes first one is lymphocytes and second one is monocyte let us see about the lymphocytes these are the smallest cells of all the white blood cells these cells have a thin layer of cytoplasm around a large nuclei see the nuclei is a large and it is a thin layer of cytoplasm is present in this cell and these cells recognize antigens that enters the blood and produced antibodies against them these cells protects the body against from viral and infectious diseases now let us see about the monocytes these are the biggest of all white blood cells these are the biggest cells the nucleus looks like in a kidney shape it looks like in a kidney shape the cells invaded the infected area and kills the bacteria there are also remove dead bacteria dead cells and other foreign material which is presented in the infected area from this lesson uh, we will discuss about the important points that are leukocytes are also called white blood cells leukocytes are uh, while these leukocytes or wbc white blood cells are divided into two types of cells granulocytes and a granulocytes again a granulocytes are divided into eosinophil basophil and neutrophil a, gran a granulocytes are divided into monocytes and lymphocytes in granulocytes the granules are present there are in irregular in shape in come to the lymphocytes there is no granulus nucleus is only present cytoplasm is present around the cell in a thin layer and this uh, rbc sorry this white bc can act as a body like a police man of scavengers they fight with the diseases they kill the bacteria and they protect the body against from the diseases and they have a very short period of 12 to 13 days in human body thank you this is nandita from sona academy